Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you five areas to avoid stepping on when you install installing solar panels on a composite shingles roof or low slope rolled roof like that. The first area is the ridge of the roof. Underneath we have two pieces of plywood, then we have paper going around them and then we have this cap. This cap is really soft material and it's usually unsupported much. If you step hard enough, you can damage this cap and as well damage paper going around this ridge. Second area is this metal valley. I'm always trying to avoid this area about 12 inch on either side. If we're going to stand on a metal, of course, we're going to crush it. But as well, we have this metal flashing extending about 6 or 8, 10 inches on either side. And uh, here's a good example. If I move, if I press here, see? This metal sheet is moving underneath and we have stress lines somewhere here. If we're constantly going to step on this area, our shingle is going to crack and we're gonna have leaking here. Number three is related to a previous one. I never step around the skylights if I have option. When roofers installing skylights, they adding metal around this and sealant. So if we step on this area, it's possible that we're going to compress the sealant and then when it's decompressing, it's going to be some gap and it can cause leaking. As well, in this example, you can see that roofers added metal sheet and installed this under the frame. And right here we have a gap. So if I'm going to step here, I will just pull this metal sheet out of the frame. Area number four, where rolled material changing its angle. We have low slope roof right here. Here's why we have this material. And then we have higher pitch of the roof. We have composite shingles here. Then we have two pieces of plywood joining together along this line. And when roofers installing this material, usually it's really stiff. Right now it's soft because it's really hot. And uh, if I press on this material, you can see that we have weight there. So it's unsupported area because it's hard to bend this material around angle between two plywoods. So if anyone is going to step here with a boot, it's possible that it's going to be internal damage and this part of the roof will wear faster than other parts of the roof. Or if we step hard enough, we can just tear this material and we will need to repair this as soon as possible because it's simply going to leak. And the area number five, it's hard to show. You have to feel this. So on this part of roof, we have four by eight feet plywoods and somewhere they're going to meet each other and this area is going to be unstable. We'll have some movement there. So whenever you're just walking on the roof, you're going to feel these areas. So in my case, we can see the line going somewhere here. I'm not sure if it's visible. When two pieces of plywood moving, of course, it's adding some stress on this material. So whenever you're installing solar panels, here's your ladder. You're gonna have some areas where you're constantly walking. If you feel areas like that, just memorize them and avoid. And one additional area, it's not related to material of the roof, but it's about structure of the roof. We have this corner and um, rafters for this part of roof going this direction. And for that part of roof is going that direction. And we don't have any rafter going somewhere from a roof to the corner. So this corner is unsupported. If someone heavy with 250 pounds, let's say, will stand on the edge right there, it can cause a lot of damage to this part of the roof. All right, guys, that's all about this video. Maybe I'm overthinking where to walk on the roof, but uh, this is what I'm trying to do when I do installations. I'm curious to hear if you do have any additional tips or recommendations. And uh, as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.